So the problem is who is seated in places of power? And if you look across the environmental movement, when you look at NGOs, non-governmental organizations, foundations, and government agencies, you're dealing with at the most between usually 12 and 16% are people of color. And you can say, oh, well, that's pretty good. But then you look at the demographics of the United States. You say, how many people of color are there just in the workforce? You're at about 38% right now. Mm. And so you have to start looking and saying, well, why is that? And is the environmental movement actually tackling the problems of the people? Mm. And are we tackling climate in a way that is actually for the people, mm. all of the people, not just the people who can move to the next house that's on higher land? It's not just the people who can filter their water. Who is the environment for? The environment's for everybody. And the question becomes, who has a seat at the table to make sure that is for everyone? Mm. 